Sports Saturday morning. We are live at Al White Ford Lincoln, 2002 Hillsborough Boulevard. They are the home of the great deals. And it's the final weekend, I think, of the 72 month interest free financing on new Fords. Uh, and uh, you want to get on out here today. It is a beautiful day. A lot of great deals are on the lot. And if you're not interested in a Ford, they've got everything from motorcycles to campers on the lot. We're joined by the sales manager, Trey Paris, joins us. Good morning, Trey. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. If folks, uh, you may even have a bicycle in the back that you guys would, would work a deal for, would you? If that's what they want, we'll come up with it. <laughs> we can find it. And, uh, a Schwinn 10 speed, perhaps, <laughs> here at Al White Ford Lincoln. Now, am I right? This is the final weekend for the 72 month interest free? You're exactly right. You're exactly right. We've had a lot of people take advantage of that. 0% for 72 months is a big deal. It makes uh, cars very affordable. Today and Tuesday's yeah. it. Uh, that's, it's over after that. Okay, now you guys open Monday. Are you open or closed on Monday? Closed on Monday. Closed on Monday. Closed on Monday. You're not going to labor on Labor Day. No, sir. Oh, no. Relax. Like I say, today and Tuesday, uh, take advantage of that before it gets gone. Uh, we are here now, like. Ford Lincoln, uh, and the 72-month interest-free financing is on most new Fords? Just about everything. Um, Just about everything. But you've got, if you're not in the market for a new car, your, your used car selection is absolutely incredible. You've got a couple BMWs on the lot. Tell, tell, tell about some of the BMWs. Absolutely. One of those BMWs is a convertible. Uh, the other one's a sedan. I've also got to get people all the time coming here with a cheap truck. Whether uh -huh. it's to haul the trash off or go hunting with or put on a farm. I've got a 98 Frontier. It is not the prettiest truck on the road, uh -huh. but it runs good. It's four-wheel drive. It's a big cab. Uh, so they can buy that truck for 2500 bucks. Wow. And it's perfect for all those all those reasons. But uh, come check it out. And then uh, you mentioned a, a motorcycle and a camper. The motorcycle I've got is a 2003 Goldwing. Uh -huh. uh, it, it is the only one for the motorcycles. It is comfortable, smooth, and quiet. Yeah, it's 18 cc, so it's a, it's a big car, a little bit more of a very good yeah, road bike. Uh, 03 model in excellent condition. And then the camper, if you thought it was too late to come, uh, come buy that thing uh, and spend with your family this weekend, it's not. We're open until 6 o'clock. Come bring the truck, hook to it, and uh, uh, you guys are well, super slide, airline. It's absolutely enormous. It sleeps eight. It's got outdoor kitchen, electric awning. Uh, real nice, real nice camper. Yeah, it's got, a, uh, it's got, a, it's got a, a refrigerator there that you can access from the outside. That's perfect for tailgating. Folks could come out here, purchase that thing, hook it up, and be at, at uh, Nissan Stadium to watch Tennessee play at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Could be. That's, uh, that's awesome. Uh, Trey, uh, uh, we, we appreciate all that you guys do for us. And, and uh, we appreciate you uh, having us here at Alaska Lincoln. Uh, I know that uh, you, you are going to take off Monday. Folks can come in today until 6. 6 o'clock. And then you will open when on Tuesday? Uh, 9, to, 9, 9 to 7. 9 to 7 on Tuesday, folks. So come on in here to Alaska Lincoln. You're going to get a great deal no matter what you purchase. Uh, and some of those convertible Mustangs, this hot weather spike has kind of told us that there's a little bit of summer left, but it's still convertible season. That's right. That's right. Trey, we appreciate it. Thanks so much for being with us. Okay. All right. We want to mention a couple of things. Uh, the Cuff County soccer team is hosting Warren County for Hometown Tuesday. Uh, that's coming up Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, uh, over at the field at Raider Academy. The, uh, the middle school players, the Click on the Granddaddy's Free Tickets link and tell us about your favorite teacher. Uh, Granddaddy's Farm opens up next Saturday. They'll have pig races, a nature trail, corn maze, pumpkins, animal barn, uh, and uh, tire swings, duck races, and my favorite was the hillside slide uh, at Granddaddy's Farm. Uh, I'm an old guy, but I had fun with a kid. Uh, at Granddaddy's Farm in UK too. Next to the rec center, uh, it's absolutely free. It's from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. They're going to have live music, food vendors, prizes, family funds, carnival games, uh, and all proceeds will benefit the One Day of Hope. Uh, and One Day of Hope is the, uh, the big event that takes place out at the fairgrounds. It serves over 5,000 people in coffee camp. We're coming up after the break. You're listening to the Coffee Coaches Show. I hate that guy. What a voice. And he's good looking. And he's got good hair. Not so much. Uh, Brian Sulkowski joins us. You know I love you, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're good. We're uh, always good. We don't even have to say it anymore, do we? No, we don't even have to talk about it. It's like a, you know, the, 
up with my grow up and all that. And let's quit talking about it before we even we get uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody here is uncomfortable. Uh, tough thoughts last night to uh, oh, a Rutherford County team. A Rutherford County team. Uh, thir yes. 38 to 3, but really. I, and I said this about the soccer game Thursday night. That was, well, actually, the person that said it was Coach Robert Harper. He said, that's the closest 5-1 game I've ever been to. Oklahoma got a couple of late scores, and uh, we had a lot of shots when it was still 1-1, 2-1, 3-1. Uh, you know, that little spell right before the half, and then, then uh, we get some friendly fire, I guess. A sniper got a latte in the first drive of the second half, and... Uh, uh, it, it could have been a different story, right? Oh, it, it, it definitely could have been. Uh, again, and I'm never sure. I'll, I'll tell the kids. Uh, I won't say anything on the radio I don't tell the kids. Okay. Which is, we lost in the first half to the name on the jersey. Okay. Uh, we didn't execute. And we, we played a little timid. We were running the ball looking to get hit as opposed to looking to break something. Uh, you know, and... and Bottom line, you look at the first half all together, it's 14-3, and we're playing terrible mm -hmm. on offense. Yep. And it's 14-3 against the uh, Rutherford yeah. County School. Yeah. Uh, we're, cro we're crossing ourselves yes. here. Yes, right yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we, we give up a, a deep ball. That's something we shouldn't have. Uh, and then we go stagnant again and punt, short punt, and they kick a field goal. So instead of 14 and 3, coming out in the second half, driving all the way down the field on a six minute drive and not putting it in, it should have been 14 3, possibly first drive in the second half. Not again. Yeah. Okay. Call me. Yeah. Oh, what if? Yeah, what yeah. should have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it could have been 14 10 with six minutes to go in third quarter instead of 12 43. And yeah, that's it's a, it's a story of the game. What do you want me to tell you? Yeah, and, and again, we're not. The, the column for moral victories is, is titled L. I know that is the case, and I know you believe that, and I know you're 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 confident in that, and you're not selling that to folks. But but I I mention it to talk about progress and sure. really any team sport and the performance of a team sport it's about trends how are you trending you can win and not win pretty and be trending down i've been madder to win even after bad games and i've been happy after some losses when you see things that you've lost. um again i'm sure that people all week long when they go oh who y'all playing today will oh we're playing Spurs, and they go oh my gosh oh it's like they say the Steelers. Oh, uh, yeah. it's Rutherford County. I mean, we can't compete, can we? I don't think so. No, no I mean, it's just... terrible to even think that we should even be on the same field as those teams. We should just shut it down. I just, mean, you know, just just cook marshmallows over a campfire. That's it, Friday that's night. it. You know, I told the kids before we left for uh, the stadium, I always give the kids a little speech. And uh, I said, you know what, I'm just going to go home. We should yeah. be on the field with them. You know, it's not fair. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's not. And oh, you know yeah. what? Uh, if I'm a head coach, uh, you know, God, God willing, I'm, I remain a head coach for a while. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep my starters in eight minutes to go in the game if, if I feel it's in place and, and get a kid injured. I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. That's you know, that's not me. Um, so, but I, I take that as a compliment. Yeah. You know, it, it's sad that you take things as a compliment just because around the state you better put more points on the board, you know, to, to you know, to look good. Yeah. Have well, to look good. I, I think that really what it's going to boil down to is, is you know, with the playoff system the way it is, uh, it, winning by one is going to be just as important as winning by 45. So. Um, you know, I think you, you know you live to fight this day. I know that you took your starters out uh, against Tullahoma. Uh, some of them didn't play at all in the second half. Uh, and and I'm, I'm not throwing stones necessarily uh, at, at what another coach does. But uh, you, you uh, it, it's it's interesting that uh, you know given given those things that we talked about, it's still 
uh, a close game, not, not let's not say close, but no running clock until the last five minutes or so, and uh, it was starters uh, in there in the fourth quarter. It took it took everything that they had to roll up 38 Absolutely. against you, and, and teams have been, you know, in years past, again, not throwing stones at anybody else. 38 points in a half was, was a norm. Oh, last year, last year we it's it's a running clock of that. Yeah. Last year it's 70 to nothing. Yeah. Uh, and and. Yeah, we're, we're not, you know, shy to say that. It's, it's, we, we have made progress. More victory, you know, whatever. We just, you know, we're going to line up and play every week, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, we know what we're up against, but at the same time, my God, we're, we're going to compete. Yeah. We're going to compete. That's, that's our nature. So get kids ready every week, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I've always thought that, that basketball, baseball, softball coaches uh, really need to build their team toward the postseason. You don't have to. You don't really have to uh, uh, qualify for the playoffs. You get into the playoffs. You know, it's a district playoff, but still, you get a chance to, to win your way into uh, the finals. You're in that situation. You're going to make the playoffs. So what you're doing is building. And I think that uh, did, did you get better? Last night, as opposed to from last week to this week, did you get better going into this Saturday? Absolutely, and, and we had a lot of kids that grew up last night. Uh, there were times that we had, oh God, four freshmen on the field defensively. Kids growing up, fighting through pain, fighting through the uh, yeah. Rutherford the County. The you know, yeah, you know, hey, kids grew up. Kids got better, and we're going to be better as a result. And that's what we'll we'll take from it. You know, it was a loss. Um, Smyrna lost to, or injured a running back. I know that uh, Rozier was being looked at. Any injuries for you guys? Any update that you got? Relatively healthy, believe it or not. Uh, you know, that's me knocking on wood, yeah, folks. Thank you. Uh, uh, you know, through the you know, for for everybody at all. And, <laughs> You know, we'll, we'll just get run off the field or something like that, uh, and kids would get hurt. No, we're, we're relatively healthy. Kids are are battling and, and fighting, and that's you know that's something that uh, we'll continue to do. It's you know we'll just hope to stay healthy. We we better stay healthy. Yeah. Uh, there's there's really, <laughs> there's really not an option. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I'm going to call Brock or, or yeah. Chad and see if they have some kids that can. Can, uh, bump up. Yeah, I know that you're, you're paper thin in some in some locations, and, and, uh, but uh, again, uh, it's good to see that. Uh, but it, to me, I don't think you're afraid. You put Alante back to receive a kick, right? You're, I That's mean, right. The kids are wanting to fight, and they're we not can. worried about it. Alante, I'm, I'm texting with uh, with uh, Coach from Vandy this morning, who yeah. was at the game last night. Oh which, wow! Uh, you know, I, I probably couldn't tell you. I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, maybe other people. We've had an SEC coach come watch one of our games. And blowing up your phone. Yeah, and blowing up my phone this morning. And it's not just about what I you know, we, we put him in a corner last night. He, he did some great things at corner. Uh, breaking on the football. But almost he's, had a he's pick. He's a baller, isn't he? Yeah, so I mean, we have, to, we have to sell out. We have to put kids anywhere they may fit. But if it's a freshman here or a freshman there, it doesn't matter. We're, those kids in the positions to be, or to, to make us successful and for them to be successful. Uh, but I haven't said it yet, I'm, I'm proud of my kids. Yeah. I, I, I really am. And we, we grew up a lot in the second half. First half was, was a little rough, but uh, overall, it... Uh, you came out of it better than you went in? I'm sorry. All right. Walker Valley's next week. They're one and two. They got beat by McMahon County last night. Have you had a chance to pre scout them? Have you looked at the huddle tape? Yet? We've, we've seen some, uh, they scrimmage tall uh, homers. Oh, right. Uh, so we, we, we do have a little film on them, or we had some, and, uh, and we did the exchange. Uh, so I've watched a little bit of the football team. They're hard nosed. They're, they're much like us when it comes down to it. Uh, yeah, so it, you know, it's going to be a long trail. I say a long trail, but it's not like we're going eight yeah. hours away. Well, yeah, but, you're not going to Ohio. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but we, 
it's our first road game, and you know how the kids travel, and how how we uh, how we treat it mentally. Uh, you know, we'll we'll see, but uh, they're much like us. They they really are. All right, I'm going to put the challenge out there. Folks, uh, and I, I know you've been pretty happy with the attendance so far. We need to get, we need to get, uh, we need to get a good crowd out of Cleveland. Uh, it's a 6.30 p.m. kick central time. So, uh, you know, you cut out of here about 4.30, 5 o'clock. That's not a big deal. No, get no, down no. there and support them. And uh, take your radio along. You can even hear lucky at the stadium as well. I don't think, I, I think there's going to be some interference problems if you try to listen here in Manchester. So you got to get down there closer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you gotta go. I yeah. mean, we're we're gonna leave at uh we're actually making a day trip. Okay. We're, we're leaving at ten a.m. Uh, our quarterback club uh, had is paying for a charter bus for us. Uh -huh. so, you know, we we don't want to ride the cheese wagon. No, now. no cheese wagons. Uh, we'll actually have a right and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna stop at Chattanooga for lunch. We'll. Uh, you going to walk through anywhere? I'm working on some things. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to make it a, a professional business trip. And, you know, we'll go down and we'll fight just like we do every Friday and, and see what the end result is. And, you know, you, I think you've said it best now. We, uh, hopefully we'll come out better than what we went in. Yeah. Um, well, wow, it's the first time anybody's ever said I said something. There right? you go. Especially today. Um, <laughs> Uh, great job tomorrow. I mean, ne next Friday it gets Walker Valley down in Cleveland. Uh, not a bad trip at all. I get. Uh, we don't ever have time for fast forward for you, so let's do a fast forward. You good? Let's roll. All right, here we go. There's my music. It's coming. It's coming. It's. I, I jumped on him real quick. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pizza crust. Which do you prefer, thin or pan? Thin. Thin crust. TV show. Do you prefer drama or comedy? Oh, comedy. Comedy for sure. Carnival food. The fair is right around the corner. Yes. Which, do, if you're going, which do you gotta have? Cotton candy or funnel cake? Ooh, tough one. Funnel cake. Funnel cake. I hate cotton candy. Yeah. All right. And I'm got a food thing going here. What's your favorite meal of the day? <laughs> lunch. That's the only one I eat. So <laughs> I don't do breakfast or dinner. So lunch is it. Do you have cafeteria duty at lunch? I do not. So uh, then it can be. I will say this. Okay. Goodness for Little Caesars, five dollar, you know, you know, hot and ready or <laughs> lunch box or whatever it is. You, uh, nowadays, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of taken in by it for a quick, okay. uh, quick little meal. All right, uh, Little Caesars, expect an invoice in your mail. Bill, <laughs> you for that little plug. Yes. <laughs> Ski, thanks so much for coming oh, out. You're pleasure. welcome to stick around. We got uh, soccer and volleyball coming up. Yeah, I see Travis over here. Thanks. He, I had to listen. Yeah, he's bit. he's looks like he's pumped a little iron, throwing a little iron around. He, today. He's he's been working out this morning. I, you know, he's in, I already feel terrible. <laughs> I haven't worked out. I've watched film. Oh, that's it. Uh, swole. He's swole. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk to him. They had a big game with Tullahoma Thursday night, and uh, we also got the Laura Selvaga CCMS volleyball coming up uh, in this in the last two segments. Want to remind you. Uh, that coming up this afternoon, 6 p.m., it's Braves baseball as they take on the Nats. 6 o'clock here on Thunder Radio. We'll be right back on the Coffee Coaches Show.